found him. Bertie was right. He's in Hope, South Dakota. And the girl? She's not with him. Okay, people, listen up! I'm giving a green light on this operation. I want 47's head on a platter in front of me ASAP! Sir, don't you think that our priority is on reacquiring the girl right now? No, Jade. First, we neutralize the rogue element that started this mess. He'll know where she is. Trust me. We get 47. We get the girl. We can't afford to f*** this up! It's time to send in the saints. Ourselves. And Tyler, he's already in touch with the competing arms company. We're talking six figures, man. Damn it. <laughs> Mr. Dexter is not someone that you want to mess with. No, no, man. I, I won't do it, okay? It's, it's way too dangerous. I, have you forgotten about Darian? What about Darian? Yeah, Darian. Darian messed up. Hey, how's your mom? Right, you ask me, he deserves what he got. Look, you want to be stuck here all your life doing the limp man's bidding? Come on, man, show some grit. Luke and Mason are in too. It, it'll be like the old gang. Nobody has to know. But you see, this is our moment, man. We just need to figure out where they stashed the girl. Hey, you know you can't park there, boys. Yeah, and yet we did. Yeah, well, I don't suppose you'd pay a damn ticket anyway. Yeah. I mean, why bother? I'd just take it out of your salary. Look, Gav, I'm gonna be straight, man. You're either with us, or you're against us, okay? And we both know what that means. Look, I gotta head over to the garage and put some pressure on the boys. Damn grease monkeys are late again. See you at the party. How you doing? Lenny Dexter, outcast, black sheep. He took the girl to earn his father's admiration. Of all my enemies, he is the weakest link. Making him talk will not be a problem. But first I need to deal with his cougars. If I grab Lenny, they will surely try to interfere. Besides, they already know too much. To see you. Sorry, sir. The store is closed. Perhaps for good. You're gonna have to take your shopping elsewhere. I sure hate to see this place go, Tyler. How the kids? It's part doing? of the town. Couldn't you talk to Lenny? Maybe he could put in a good word for you with his dad. Borrow money from Dexter? Are you kidding? That that they'd be like kissing a beehive. Look, don't worry, Lucy. Me and the boys. We got something planned. Something big. Just between you and me, I want to be out of here real soon. For good this time, maybe. I don't know, maybe, uh, California. I know. Wake up to the sound of seagulls. I mean, you, you know, you could always, um, you know, you could come with me. I mean, you know, if you wanted. To California? With you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I could, I could always use a good waitress, you know. Yeah, okay, just, uh, just think about it, right? You know, and, and don't tell anybody. No. 
No, that is not the price we agreed on. Don't you screw me on this. Listen to me. I don't care if you are the new CEO. That girl, that little is worth every single penny. And we both know Stallion Armaments is not exactly strapped for cash. But who the f*** do you take me for? Look, you get me 2.5, or I sell the brat to the highest bidder. A Saudi prince, a f Burmese brothel, a Thai massage parlor, I really don't care. I'm not a picky man. Can you talk? You are not gonna believe this. Tyler asked me to go to California with him. Yes, way! I know! <laughs> I mean, God, Pam, I always hoped I felt there was something more, you know? California, I, I don't even have a bathing suit. Meet me at four, okay? We're going shopping. Jesus! Shoes. Shine them yourself. What? seen you before. Welcome to the force. Welcome to our nightmare. <laughs> Again. False alarm. Nothing to worry about. Hey, catch any crooks lately? Huh? Okay, this is how it's gonna go down. Tyler is HQ. Gavin's lookout and driver. Mason and I will do the dirty work. And you talk to your guy in Sioux Falls about IDs. This thing is on.
sure you want to do this, Earl? I mean, a man could find himself real alone in this town, going up against Lenny and his boys. Besides, don't you have one of those gentlemen's agreements? You know, the kind I wouldn't know about, because I'm so busy looking the other way and all? Look, just because he sends a lot of business my way, that doesn't mean his gang could just barge in here anytime they like. That prick Mason, he even took a swing at one of my guys the other day. So next time they pull something like that, I I'm gonna shoot him for trespassing. All right, hold your horses, Earl. Tell you what, why don't you sleep on it? Call me tomorrow if you still want to press charges. Do I know you from somewhere? From Bubba's place? <laughs> Act normal, act normal. Act normal. <laughs> Hey, 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 officer, hey! Respect our reserve after a long time away. to get some screen time these days. Hey, hey, it hands off the pizza. We made it especially for Lenny. You know, Chicago style.
schmuck didn't deserve that. See, Cal, a town like Hope ain't enough for a guy like me. I need the city. That's where I thrive. Now, Chicago man, that's me. I could run that town. We went down there to pick up this chick, and this bald guy thought he was gonna stop us. He brought his boys, thought he was the man and shit. <laughs> Pop told me to take him down. I must have killed 50 or 60 of them. One shot, one kill. That's how I roll. Boy, <laughs> this girl, she was real fine too, dog. Boom. I had to smack her around a little bit. Yeah. She, she, she was real scared. Was crying and shit. <laughs> I think she liked it. I told her where I stood. <laughs> You're not the talkative type, huh? <laughs> you know your place. <laughs> well, uh, I, I like that in the barber. 